consumer app stores have been a wild success, with Google Play and Apple's App Store thriving as e-commerce environments. It's a model which allows software to be quickly and easily downloaded anywhere in the world to anyone with the appropriate access. And now it's taking hold in the enterprise world as firms begin to recognise its efficiency. Business analytics firm SAP has developed its own app store through which its staff download and run apps which enable them to do their jobs. So how does SAP run its enterprise app store? So what we've done is put together the ability of, of employees to be able to get content that they need to be able to do their job. Um, so we, we put it into one place um, and we allow everyone to be able to download applications that they need to do their role from that one particular place. And that's, we've, we've done that both for the ability to be able to get it directly from a mobile device but also from a website as well. So you can select the device you're downloading to and actually download the file or sync it over the air directly as well so you can get up and running as quickly as possible. Exactly how does this benefit the business? Technology provider Avenard, a joint venture between Microsoft and Accenture, creates app stores for enterprise clients. So what are the business benefits of running your own enterprise app store? So probably the, one of the biggest benefits is that you don't have to confuse the customer as to is their device a corporate device or their own. So everyone's really used to, you know, maybe only you know, one or two years ago, comfortable having a business device in one pocket and their own, probably a better device in their other pocket. Um, so then to consume your consumer services alongside your enterprise, there's sometimes an emotive response that you may not want to do that. Having Enterprise Hub makes it easy to understand that you've actually got one place for all of your business stuff and everywhere else is left alone. Recruitment firm Austin Fraser uses an enterprise app store to host the firm's CRM application. It gives us options as to, okay, we want to implement a BI tool within the business and we can look at the ones that are available that have already been approved that do work with our, the, the current tools that we have as a business. So it gives us more flexibility as a business um, as we grow and as, as we become generally more mobile as individuals, it's important that we're not restricted to just the workplace to access the tools that we need to operate as a business. So having a web-based tool and a web-based app store effectively gives us the ability to kind of deploy ourselves wherever we want within the world quite easily without having considerable infrastructure um, to tie up globally. We just opened an office in Munich. It's a real straightforward process um, purely on that basis. But why bother with your own app store? Why not simply use Play or iTunes? So if we can control it internally, that allows us to do things a little bit more innovatively than we would be able to otherwise. Does this reduce the IT overhead of supporting the users? system. The device is, is then commissioned through our SAP Afaria device management system, so that's all self-service. You go to the mobile app store to download what apps you want and you're up and running. So as much as possible, that is purely self-service. So what does the future hold for enterprise app stores? We're hoping that apps can do for us what they've ultimately done for the mobile phone. If we can like, plug in a, a specific app that gives us new information as a business that helps us to grow and be better or more successful, more profitable, then ultimately that's going to be a good, a good tool for the business. Um, there's constantly new releases coming out from the um, CRM uh, marketplace partner that we currently use. Um, and the, the, probably the next tool that we'll be looking at is something along a more we have a BI tool, but something more around actually data mining. I think one of the problems with apps today is they've become a commodity. Anybody can create an app and that's not necessarily a good thing. 
we've seen really that with our XD uh, side of designers who understand the human impact of making sure an application is intuitive, well designed, rather than let's say for example using an intranet site which admittedly a lot of us just launch once and never go back to, we can actually help that customer get the big, biggest return on investment for what they've already got, make sure their staff are revisiting line of business applications in one place. So enterprise app stores enable software to be quickly and simply deployed without the direct involvement of IT, thus saving both time and money. In this way, software can be downloaded by staff anywhere in the world and at any time. With more companies awakening to the possibilities, it's likely that more job functions will find themselves being conducted almost exclusively via apps in the near future.